weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, guys, Pete Bouchard joining us right on. Sliding right on in. Always. Always. My man. Always. Never you gotta get those one. shoes, like, you know, yeah. the new shoes, the new soul. <laughs> um, break them in. <laughs> hey, listen, right before we started the show, it was crazy because Pete, we, we could hear him back there. We're yeah. Like, What's going on? Bouncing around. Yeah. Well, you uh, said that. Um, breaking a record. Yeah. We broke a record. You know, it jumped up five degrees in an hour, which you, at first you go, wait a minute. These are not the records we want to break. Right. No, right. <laughs> this is, yeah, do, we don't want to be in this territory. So the spike is somewhat suspect because sometimes it just can surge and instrumentation can break at Logan Airport. But it seems legit. Yeah. And, you know, it's the urban heat island effect. Wow. We live amongst the concrete. It heats up. Wind shifts and that heat comes right out of the city. So what are we sitting at right now as we head into, what is it, 418 right now? Yeah, it's still at about 98 degrees. Uh, so yesterday we were a couple degrees shy. Today we broke the record. There it is, two degrees, back in 1923. So that's an old record to break. You'd think, you know, that'd be vulnerable, but, you know, with warmer climate, it's easier to break those now. And tomorrow we should equal the high temperature record high. Maybe 99, you know, now that we've raised the bar today, 99 or 100 is definitely attainable tomorrow. And then back down to 80 will be way far from the record on that day. But boy, these temperatures now, look at these numbers, 97 in Cambridge, 96 in Malden, 95 in Needham, 94 in Chelsea. So you can see why I'm like, hang on a second. How did that happen? How'd you hit 90? Eight, but your Cambridge temp is close and the Dorchester temperature is close. So that gives us credence and a little belie more believability here, so to speak. And uh, that 98 at Logan Airport, 89 in Gloucester, 89 in Situate. You're a little bit cooler back to Worcester, but second day of 90 and the dew points oppressive. In this range, it's really hard to keep cool if you step outside. So then we present to you the combination of the heat and humidity. What we know is the heat index and it was as high as 113 in Dorchester right now, 112. 113 in Malden, wow, 113 in Newton right now. It's rare that we get up to these values, and this is where you really want to take it easy because this is very rare for us to be in this territory. Certainly Texas, you know, Florida, that's yeah, run of the mill. Tomorrow's high temperature, about 98 degrees, will be equal to that across a good part of the Commonwealth from, we'll say, Natick North, maybe a little bit cooler in Taunton, but is it really that much of a noticeable thing by two degrees? Plymouth is 90 and then we're in the 80s and even some 70s on the islands. Wow, what relief there. The big issue with tomorrow will be the possibility of thunderstorms popping up. You can see these sprout. And when you're talking about this heat and humidity, this is exactly what a thunderstorm loves and will just soak in tomorrow. So these could be menacing storms. I know it doesn't really show it here and not a lot of reds, but it's potentially a day of uh, severe weather. And then Friday, we come back down into the lower 80s. The relief will come throughout the day. Our temperatures drop, our dew points drop. It's like a backdoor front coming in. That's the front that really comes in Thursday. So this is a tricky forecast for the Celtics parade. It seems that we may have a remnant shower in the morning. And then I think in the afternoon, we could pop up a couple of showers potentially, but we sneak that parade in almost a perfect timing at 11 o'clock to noontime, one o'clock, even near two. But after two, we're vulnerable. The sea breezes are in, a lot of humidity uh, getting pushed out of the region. So we could still trigger a shower. You can see that here in the depiction on Friday, starting off with some sunshine and some clouds, not bad. And then the clouds seem to congest a little bit, but it seems that we want to press those showers or the threat of them back towards Worcester and down into Rhode Island and Connecticut too. Boston seems okay at the latest uh, version of our guidance there. So anyway, we'll go uh, play by ear, but it looks okay at this point for the parade. 75, warm and stuffy tonight. That temperature is very warm for us. And there's the weekend in view. We're cooler on Saturday, almost dramatically from where we'll be tomorrow, right? 77 degrees. The air's dry, but the humidity comes back on Sunday, fueling late day storms into the evening too. Anything after four is fair game for a storm on Sunday. And some of those may even lean into Monday's forecast. We're not seeing the heat return, not to the degree that we have it today or tomorrow. We'll see you at 430.